Welcome Franco Hero Roleplay. Thanks, Codsworth. Of course, Mum. Wonder what Sean will grow up to be. at first, but I'm glad we got Codsworth. Codsworth? Enjoy your coffee, Mum. Now, don't you touch the laundry. <laughs> I'll take care of it. Don't worry about the dishes. That's my job. Hey, hun. Wow, look at you. How'd a guy like me ever get so lucky, huh? Uh, it's that salesman again. I don't know why he keeps bothering you. Good morning! vault calling. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, ma'am, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think, if you catch my meaning. Now, I know you're a busy woman, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being, um, <laughs> a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault one eleven. But I have a family. You can fit us all, right? Of course, of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. Sure. Let's do it. Splendid! Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Grognak the Barbarian and the Jungle of the Bat <laughs> I think he needs some of that maternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> Go ahead, honey. I'll be there in a second to help, okay?
My boy isn't giving his mother any trouble, is he? Hey, I fixed that mobile on his crib the other day. Why don't you give it a spin? That's my boy, on his best behavior, just like his dad. Well, most of the time, anyway. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Hey, Codsworth. Sounds of explosions. Mom, We're uh, trying to get confirmation. We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. Oh no. We do. We do have. We do have coming in. That's um. Confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my god. We need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go! Codsworth? Stay safe, honey. And your family as well, Mom? Oh my. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. We'll drive to the coast! That's gotta be fun! <laughs> Hold on, little guy. Hold on. Hold on. Check in at the gate. It's absurd. I am not on the list. Back. You don't get in. I'm going in. Oh, you can't stop me. Oh, 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 okay, okay. I'm reporting this. If you're in the program, step forward. Otherwise, return home. They'll let us in. They have to. We need to get they in. To. We're on the list. Infant, adult male. Adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, sir. Follow me. Come on. What's going to happen to all those people outside the gate? We're doing everything we can. Now keep moving. Step on the platform in the center. This way. All right, that's it. Send it down. Almost there. Is Sean okay? He's fine. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Oh my god! Hold on! Can't this thing move faster? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe... Hey, hun. If we left this is a minute home. later... No, no. We'd all be... Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through Vault the door there. Vault is here for you. Just all this new residents, please this way. proceed Female. in an orderly fashion. Now, this way, now please. Good. Step over to the table, take a suit. You'll need your suits before we can take you further. Welcome. Pick up a suit Thanks. right over there. Just what this now? way. Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. Female. See? This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it. Good. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. Our home. Everything we had. My mother and father down in D.C. How long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. It's a good fit. Just checking everyone off the list as they come in. as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Who is my little guy? I'm not going far. 
I'll just be over there. There she is, see? Mommy's not going far. All set? Just step inside. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three. Thank you. 
enjoy your return to the surface, and thank you for choosing Vault Tech. I brought you here. Please come down. I am so sorry for your loss. I am sorry for that too. I think if one of us is going uh, mad, is going crazy, it may be me. I was working at a clinic, a clinic in Germany, Berlin, Germany, and I heard the alarm. And I didn't care. The alarm uh, drove some of my co-workers away, some of my staff. And uh, I stayed. I had no choice. The woman on the table was being treated by my instruments, stuff I created. I had to continue for her sake and for the sake of my future. I I heard people screaming and then there was a boom it was so loud and it knocked me out I think and oh, oh. I imagine it was the day when the bombs fell. I, I don't want to be down here. You have to be down here. I get it. Go on. So, I was a brain surgeon. And I... I... I was quite a genius. I was one genius who was not related in any way to the warmonger nations. I built my instruments, built my brain tools, and I had to use them. It was the third time I did that. And then I was blown away. Oh God. Why would Vault Tech do this? Come on, come on, come on. I'll find who did this, and I'll get Sean back. I promise. I woke up in your body, and I knew it was a long time to understand that it was not my body. It was a female body. It was yours. I really have to ask you why you were frozen. And why those people of Waltech are such idiots. You didn't get an injection. I know that. Over all the time, I repaired your body. 
So you could be alive. I was in there and I couldn't do much. But over time, over all the years of all this eternity, it felt like I prepared your body, your lungs, your brain. <laughs> uh, a proper injection would have saved so many lives here. They would have died anyways. Voltec is like a child playing with magnificent technology, but doesn't understand it. They don't understand it. They they don't give the proper injections. They don't use the technology properly. They are just some brutal children playing what they think is right. And so all this tragedy happened. I was trapped inside of you. I started repairing you when I had no other choice. Because I don't want to die. I couldn't do much else. But I learned slowly. I learned to Go outside. <laughs> Gotta you know, keep I moving. most of the time. But I also learned to leave. I was uh, looking around and it felt just like dreams. Uh, when you are getting back, and I think you will be getting uh, back now to your old house. Um, <laughs> And it's an interesting story, how I know about that. Hmm? I have no clue what I know. Everything I have seen in all these years seems like dreams. It doesn't seem as if any of it would be true. Maybe I'm just imagining stuff. <laughs> Out there, I think there are dinosaur-like creatures. Zombie-like creatures. <laughs> so much of this was like what I have seen can't really be. And I am speaking English. Coming back later Better for you. Than before. Your mind doesn't. That to me. We are related to each other now. In more than me riding in your brain, watching through your eyes. I if you let me, I can help you. Yeah, I activated that. And, um... <laughs> I don't remember much of what happened after uh, your buddy woke up. I, uh, just... had to get out. Using your buddy after all this eternity. It felt so... I am not the one who has your body. It is your body. And I am merely a passenger. I want to get out. And I am a genius. I will find a way, and if you let me, I will help you on that way. Can you do that? Or are you too afraid of me? I am afraid, not really of you. <sighs> but I need to tell you uh, how I know about your home. 
I don't know if I'm looking if, if I'm looking at memories or if, if I'm looking at um, dreams. Maybe I'm imagining stuff. We'll see if cops was there. And yeah, all I see here looks exactly as I recall it from my strides outside of your brain. Um, back behind there, there could be trouble. I would be careful now. Um, I am not sure what that is. Can you see? Yeah, those will attack you. Ah, very good, you found edibles. Um, I am Philip Sophia, by the way. Um, <laughs> nice to meet you. And you can call me Phil. I don't understand. That's crazy. A bad Cotsworth is there. As I live and breathe. Oh, it's, it's really you. Codsworth, you're still here. So other people could still be alive too. Well, of course I'm still here. Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International. But you will seem the worse for wear. Best not let the hubby see you in that state, huh? Where is sir, by the way? They came into the vault. Maybe you saw them. They had guns and strange outfits. Mm, only Miss Rose's boy running around in his Halloween costume more than a week early. <laughs> I swear, the nerve of that woman leaving her brat unsupervised. Oh, not like you, Mum. You're the perfect mother. <laughs> and sir is... Uh, uh, where is Sir, uh, by the by? He's... in a better place. Oh, Mum, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this, this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or, or perhaps charades. Oh, Sean does so love that game. <laughs> is, is the lad uh, with you? Codsworth, listen to me carefully. Have you seen him? Have you seen Sean? Uh, why, uh, why, sir, had him last, remember? Perhaps he's gone to the Parker residence to arrange a play date. I'm sure he'll be back with him momentarily. It doesn't make sense. There's just no reason someone would take my baby. It's worse than I thought. <laughs> You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> Doesn't matter how long it's been. I feel fine. A bit over 210, actually, Mum. Give or take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack. You must be famished. What? Food? Yeah, sure. I... I need a minute to think. Then I'll be right back! Sophie, please unload all your 
heavy stuff in the workbench over there. I will show you how to use it, if you don't know. Miss Phil? There you are, Mum! Now, I've been thinking, if something is amiss, your loved ones may simply be hiding from the Red Menace. Codsworth, I don't think the Reds are going to be a problem anymore. I have an idea. Let's search the neighborhood together. After all, Sir and young Sean, they're, they're my family too. Codsworth, are you sure you're holding up okay? I... I... Oh, Mum, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. <laughs> and the car, the car! How do you polish rust? What do you know, Codsworth? I'm afraid I don't know anything, Mum. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were, were dead. I, I did find this hollow tape. I believe Sir was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? Sir and young Sean may turn up yet. Have you seen anything dangerous? Oh, just the usual, Mum. Pesky neighborhood dogs and mosquitoes. Shall I investigate? Big mosquitoes. All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, Mum. <laughs> What's all this? Not this time. Senses are picking up movement in another house. Follow me. Hmm. This Mr. Handy is quite dangerous. He can handle himself. But there are a few loose screws. Thanks for trying, Codsworth. You can't give up, Mum. What about the city? Concord is nearby, and, well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. There's still people alive and conquered? 
Yes, although they're a bit rough. Uh, you remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge, out of the neighborhood, and past the Red Rocket Station? I shall remain here and secure the home front. I am very happy to see that you can use a gun. Well done. Maybe there's hope.